there is much to be gained through the adoption of an abundance mindset. If you'd like to put it into practice, here's some ways. Number one, when you catch yourself feeling territorial, find inspiration. Being territorial is a scarcity mindset. It means that you're feeling threatened by someone else's desire. Instead of digging in and defending your turf, use the feeling to find your own inspiration. Connect with what you want for yourself and take the action to achieve that. When dealing with someone who has a scarcity mindset, remain vulnerable. An abundance mindset requires vulnerability. It requires that you lessen your need to win in every situation. By remaining vulnerable, we open ourselves up to seeing all kinds of suitable outcomes. The broader the palette of possibilities, the more likely we are to achieve a result that a scarcity mindset person can't accept. Number three, when the path to abundance is tough to find, remember what you truly want. We all get discouraged from time to time. In these instances, it can be difficult to muster the feelings of abundance. It's in these times that we must remind ourselves about what we truly are trying to achieve. This focus can provide the clarity needed to discover the right path for you to operate with an abundance mindset. While the abundance mindset is a basic tenet of most leadership coaching philosophies, it can be a challenge for people to fully adopt and put into their own everyday outlook on life. So don't get discouraged as you work to incorporate these new ways of thinking and doing into your life.